This LOS is Describe Pricing Strategy under each market structure. So first we'll look at perfect competition, the price, pricing strategy in perfectly competitive markets. So in the long run, the perfectly competitive firm will operate at the point where marginal cost equals the minimum of average cost because at that point entry is no longer profitable. So in, equilibri in equilibrium, price equals not only the marginal cost, the firm equilibrium, but also the minimum average cost so that total revenues equal total costs. This result implies that the perfectly competitive firm operates with zero economic profit. That is, the firm receives its normal profit, rental cost of capital, which is included in its economic costs. Recall that the economic profit occurs when total revenue exceeds total cost and therefore differ from accounting profits. With low entry cost and homogeneous products to sell, the perfectly competitive firm earns zero economic profit in the long run. So continuing now to look at the pricing strategy under each market structure, we can see in perfect competition the price and output at point which marginal revenue equals the marginal cost. Similarly for a monopolistic competition, the price and output at which marginal revenue equals marginal cost. In the oligopoly, we cannot determine the price and output without considering the pricing strategy. And for monopoly, the uh, marginal revenues equals the uh, long run marginal cost. I want to move on here to look at optimal price and output in monopoly markets. The quantity that maximizes profit for in monopoly markets is determined by the intersection of marginal cost and marginal revenue. And there's a relationship between marginal revenue and price elasticity and it's marginal revenue equals the price times one minus one divided by the price elasticity. And a firm in a monopoly market can use this relationship to determine the profit maximizing price if the firm knows its cost structure and price elasticity of demand. So in the next slide we're going to do a practice problem just to uh, show you exactly how to work through this. So we'll do a practice question here to finish the LOS. EFS Inc. is a monopoly enjoying very high barriers to entry. Its marginal cost is $40 and its average cost is $70. A recent market study has determined the price elasticity of demand is 1.5. The company will most likely set its price at A, $40, B, $70, or C, $120. Okay, the correct answer is C, so we have to do a uh, calculation. So you can see this is typical uh, CFA 101 where we're given an equation and we have one, two, really three different variables and uh, given two, can you solve for the third, okay? So in this case, we didn't need the average cost at $70. That's put in there as red herring information, which is often the case. But we do need the marginal cost of $40 and the price elasticity of demand. So let's go through how we solve this. So the couple of things you have to remember. Number one, you have to remember that uh, profits are maximized where marginal revenue equals marginal cost. And then with regards to the monopoly and the relationship to the price elasticity, it's this formula that you have to memorize. You have to memorize that marginal revenue equals the price times one minus one divided by the price elasticity. And now once you've got that, you're in good shape because they're giving you the marginal revenue equals marginal cost, so they're giving you the $40, and you're solving for the P, and then it's just one minus one over the price elasticity, which is 1.5, okay? So you can see I've got 40 equals P times 0 0.333, that's one divided by 1.5, so P is gonna equal 40 divided by 0.333, P is gonna equal 120. So that's a formula that you absolutely need to memorize. Um, this is similar to a question at the back of the text and uh, very likely could be tested on a calculation like this. And that's the last slide for this LOS. Thank you.